those nice things about me. I don't know if it's true or not, but I love Marie and we've known each other for quite a while now. And, um, I, you know, the sisterhood's a really interesting thing because I, you know, Marie and I would have never met each other and I just adore her. Like, I, and I love Michael. I love her children. We've built relationships with them. So that's a lot of what is going on within this business. So the way I understand it, the people that are on this call got on this call because they signed somebody up. Is that right, Marie? Yes. Uh, yes. They either signed someone up or they had $500 in sales by the 15th. Okay. So I asked Marie what we should be talking about here today, and she really wanted me to try to hone in on, well, she told me I could pick whatever, and I said, well, how are things going with onboarding and having new people? Because the thing is, guys, is when you sign someone up new to your team, there's some things that you need to keep in mind. And, and the reason that I'm sharing this with you is because I've been in this business now for five and a half years, and I've kind of tried a couple of different ways to figure out how to keep people motivated and interested in this business. And I think it comes down to two things. And this is what Marie and I discussed the other day. I really think that the number one thing that you need to do when you bring someone new onto your team is to stay connected. Okay. And this was, there's two C's we're going to talk about. Um, the first one is connection. So keeping people connected. Okay. is really important. Not only do you need to, if you have a smaller team, you're going to be able to reach out to individuals and you should, okay. You should reach out to individuals. You should build those relationships. It's really, really important because everyone is going to learn this business at a different pace. And the thing is, is that until the light bulb goes off for that person, you've got to keep them connected and motivated, okay? If you don't do that, they will get shiny ball syndrome and they will go elsewhere where they feel that connection, okay? So it is your job as a sponsor to make sure that you connect with the people and build relationships because I really don't care what's going on in the business. Um, if you have somebody who's connected with you and you feel connected with them, they're not going to want to disappoint you, first of all, okay? It's still very hard in this business, I feel like, for people to get in the mindset, too, that they're their own boss, that they don't have to report to somebody. So feeling connected to somebody where you feel like you're not going to disappoint them is very motivating, okay? So that can kind of help drive them and push them. And the second thing that I would tell you, the second C that is really, really important is consistency. I don't know if Marie had the opportunity to share, um, Kara Lewis Newton did a training this week about um, consistency. Um, actually in the, uh, I don't know which page it was. God, we're in so many pages now. I can't even keep up Marie, but anyways, I'll find it. I can pass it over to Marie. Um, I shared it with my girls this week and she, like she said everything that I've ever thought, but couldn't put into words. And so I'm stealing a little bit from Kara here because it's very timely and it just kind of slid in at the right time when Marie asked me to do this. So Keeping people consistent is one of the most key things in this business to creating that longevity within your business and growth within a team because we don't want to do all the work to bring people into the fold and then not mentor them, okay? So keeping them consistent is really important. And the main thing is, is that consistency also is what's going to help them when it comes to building the business. And one of the things that she said about building this business is that it's going to come at different stages for different people. And a lot of that has to do with the person that you were when you joined the business. And she talked about givers and takers. And basically, you know, most of us like to think of ourselves as givers. But if you're the kind of person that is constantly on Facebook, let's say prior to Unique, and you were like, oh, I need prayer because of this. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need money. Can somebody help me? If you're constantly asking people to pour into you and you never push anything back out, you're going to be known as a giver. I mean, as a taker. I'm sorry. If you are a taker, okay, and you, you're constantly known as a taker, and you come into this business as a taker, and you're trying to build this business, it's going to take you a little bit longer than the average Joe because part of this business has a lot to do with building trust. And if 
someone feels like that they can't trust you, it's going to take you a lot longer to build. So basically, it's your job to keep these people connected and to keep them going with consistency until the light bulb goes off and until things click that they can build that business. Does that kind of make sense? So really staying connected, I think, is key. And, and I will tell you, um, Maria, I can pass this on to you. I have no idea what you do as far as onboarding. For well over since almost the beginning of my team, I've had my own onboarding for my girls. Um, I've had mock parties and all these things that we've done. Last year, I made a new presenters training myself that I actually plug everybody into. Again, long before corporate had their own onboarding. I am now plugging girls that are new into the onboarding training with Unique. I try to share those links with them. I have all my new girls in a private chat, okay? Not only do I reach out to them as individuals, but I also reach out to them in the chat. I think it's very important to encourage the people that are new that are on your team and that you follow them first. Go to Facebook, hit see first. And when you see them doing something that is absolutely amazing, you need to recognize them for it because everybody has different love languages. I don't know if you've ever read the five love languages. It's an amazing book and we all have different color personalities. We've talked about that before, but plugging into what their love language is and what their color personality is, is going to go a long way with how, and you need to try to figure out what those things are. And Marie knows all about those. She'll teach you about those. I'm not going to get into that today. But basically, keeping people plugged in, I've been shouting out people. I've been, if they have a great lash post, I've been putting it in the team page and saying, great job. You know, we've been doing tons of shout outs when they get their first sales, when they hit 500, all of these things. And then I kind of have a weekly Zoom that I've been doing with just my new presenters, just like we are here. And the thing that I love about this is you can share the screen and actually navigate the back office and show them where to find things, how to send an email, where to go to their customer orders, how to look at them, to see the tracking. We've been doing that every week repetitively. And we, we spend about 30 minutes, but it's been huge because I see girls hitting the 500s now. So I've gave them a task list as well. And this is how my task list goes. You have about five goals that you need to be working towards right now. Goal number one is to get $125 in sales. Goal number two is to sign somebody up. Don't wait until the business is, you figured it all out before you sign somebody up. That's the second goal before I get them to yellow. Then we try to get them to yellow and then we have them work on fast start. So then they're working on signing up that second person and getting to a thousand. Once they hit fast start, then we push to pink. And they know that's the order that they need to do everything in right now. So laying out like a consistent order, how they, you know, that they know what comes next and letting them know what comes next. What do I do now? I've also been going back to the very basics with my girls. We talk about foundation and mascara a lot. And I, we try to do lash selfie after lash selfie after lash selfie. So. Um, I think plugging them into mascara, which is our core product, is um, another thing that drives sales. And I will go ahead and throw this in, and that's about all I have, Marie, is that uh, Marie's probably going to kill me. So corporate gave us something we have been asking for for a very long time, and I think Marie will agree with this. We have wanted to build our own bundles, customize kudos, okay? And they've, they've been very resistant to that. And the management team has been very resistant to that. And we're like, what are you talking about? This, we're always baking up, bringing up stuff and having to sell it off and mail stuff out and blah, blah, blah. So we've kind of gone through all this. So corporate gives us this nice shiny package this month of a customized kudos. And I don't know how your team is doing, Marie, but it has been a struggle especially for girls who are brand new to this business. It has been a real struggle. The reason that it has been a real struggle is because we know that from a marketing standpoint that you literally need to post one thing at least 10 to 15 times before somebody says, what is that? I need to know what that is. What is this girl posting? So this month, we don't have that. We don't have any consistency to what's going on around here. So my girls are literally losing their mind. So what we did as a team, I took and made two bundles. And for the rest of the month, through the 15th through the 31st, we're pushing those two bundles. I'll be happy to share what the bundles are with you. We put together a quad 
palette and a mascara for $69. And we've also put together a mascara bundle, two 4Ds and an Esteem Lash Serum. I think it runs about 70 bucks. We're gonna push those off the cliff for the rest of this month because the quad gives you versatility to show lots of different things, especially since we came off a month where we did Flawless Face. I, I highly recommend a Flawless Face Bundle too. The, the Kabuki brushes will be back in stock. Uh, what is it, like the 23rd? So you can do a spray and a Kabuki brush and get your eight, you know, your 80 bucks and your 15% off, and I forget what that equals out to. I think it's another about 69 or $70 for that, and run it in the ground. Especially for your new girls, you need to simplify. It's very, very important. Keeping it simple, sister, okay, for your new girls, because the more they have to think about and the more they have to focus on, some, some people are pushed by that and other people see red flags and just turn within themselves and do nothing. And you don't want that to happen, okay? So that's about all I have, Marie. Does anybody have any questions for me about anything else? Well, we'll ask, uh, I, we definitely want to open it up for questions. I just wanted to add one thing to what you were saying about the customizable kudos, which I actually um, have loved because now my customers are basically just getting whatever they want at a mm -hmm. sale price. But it reminds me of when you go to a restaurant and they give you a menu. Now think about it. Some restaurants give you a one page menu and you've got like four choices. So it's easy. You sit down, you're like, I'm going to pick this salad. I'm going to pick this entree and I'm going to pick this dessert. Cause you only got a few options. But have you ever been to one of those diners where they've got eight pages of options and it's packed in there and they've got like Mediterranean things and then they've got Italian things. And it was like, they just put everything onto the menu. And every page you're like, oh, I could get that. And then you turn the page and you're like, oh, I could get that. And it's, it's just overwhelming. So then you don't know what to do. And I think that's what Leslie was trying to say is if you streamline it, and we talked about this on the team call and in the team page, pick three bundles max. And we've, we've run that, we've mm -hmm. run it that way from the very beginning. Pick, th pick your favorite products and run with that the whole way yeah. because you don't, too many options is worse than not enough options sometimes. True. So um, yes, true. let's go ahead and open this up because many of you are stepping into leadership for the first time. Some of you got on this call for sales, which is awesome, but some of you got onto this call because you signed someone. And this is where you can really tap into Leslie, tap into some of the other leaders that are on this call as well, if anybody else has any feedback they wanna give. And, and ask your questions on, on launching because launching your team strong is going to be the make or break for fast growth. I will say real quick too, we signed up 118 people to our team last month, which is, you know, a huge amount of people. I've never had that many people join my team in one month. I personally enrolled 28 myself and I am not going to kid you all. I thought I was going to lose my shit. So basically I just plugged into the new girls and I said, look, here's the deal. There's 118 of you and there's one of me and I will go to the ends of the earth for you all. But you have to understand it's easier for you to reach out to me than it is for me to reach out to 118 of you a day. I can't physically do that. It's not possible. So if you're struggling or you want to work or you have a question, don't hesitate to private message me. But you know, just understand that I'm just one person. So, you know, as much as I tell you to reach out to your downline, you need to let them know that they've got to stay connected too. That, you know, you'll reach out if you haven't heard from them in a couple of days, but if you constantly reach out to them and they don't, they don't connect back in that, you know, it is a two way street. So keep that in mind as well, especially if you signed up quite a few people or you feel overwhelmed. I'm very, very honest with my team and I speak to them just the way that I'm speaking to you. I'm like, I can't physically be everything for everybody because I will lose my marbles, but I do value each and every one of you and I need, um, I'm, I'm here to help each and every one of you, but you've got to help me help you. So keep that in mind. So does it, Laura has a question. I'll unmute you. The annoying I question. Surprise, Laura has a question. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, I know I Laura with her question. Um, I, uh, I wanted to ask your opinion on something that kind of happened before, or I guess a little bit after the sign-up stage. 
So I have been pretty successful in getting people to sign up. And I'd say a huge part of that was when corporate sort of lifted the, you know, uh, badger people to become a presenter if they buy the kit, uh, like so trying to avoid kidnappers. I've, um, and Maria and I have talked about this. She's given me some great advice, but I just wanted to hear from your perspective. Um, do you have any coaching for your girl that, uh, would that sign up presenters that pretty much let you know they don't want, they don't want to sell, they just launch a kit? Um, so, and, and, and do you have a process per se, or is it just kind of follow up? What I have been doing is I always encourage them whether or not they are being a kidnapper or not to go ahead and enroll them in the team page. And what I advise them to say is, you know, I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and put you in this team page. Yes, I know you wanna be a kidnapper. And yes, the team page is very busy, but we want you to be up to date on what's going on and what's rolling out in case you wanna get in on products early, you know, these types of things. And since the subscription bundles have come out, I have highly encouraged all my new presenters that if they have a, um, a kidnapper to come into the fold, to encourage them to sign up those subscription bundles because that money counts towards, you know, them getting them signed up and towards their 500 to push them to yellow status. So every single kidnapper gets informed about the, um, you know, the two subscription bundles. And I know there's a slide out that has like the $79 and the $128. I went in and edited that slide. I'll send it to you, Marie. It drives me nuts because people are like, well, mine says 99. So you have to go through all these questions, you know, with kidnappers about it. Just tell them it's 99 and whatever. And then you can get into how they, get money back on their purple card for that later I, I don't like to explain that up front so but that's the main two things I'm doing getting them into the team page if they want to leave they can I don't necessarily put them in the chats but they need to be at the forefront of what's going on and some people sit back and literally watch for six months and then they're like these girls are freaking amazing like I want to be a part of this I'm ready to go you know and the other thing that I have done as well is I've encouraged people that we're in a in a network right now where there's huge bonuses like just even if you want to be a kidnapper work it for 90 days get your money back get your subscription bundles in work it for 90 days and see if you can earn a little bit of extra cash to go on vacation with i mean hell we've been yeah. locked up for months you know that's, that's kind you're of crazy what I not to i was like why not um i i also stopped marie for about five years but then i lost my job on february 28th and i'm like now's the time to give it a shot you know maybe yeah I'll be good at it maybe i won't but now's the time to try Exactly. Um, so that's, sorry, no, go ahead. It's, you're fine. No, and to co-sign what Leslie said, um, I add everyone to the group and I, I would encourage all of you to do it as well. Even if they say, I only want the kit, I say, okay, I'm only going to add you to one group then. So you have some resources when your kit comes, if you have any questions, it's a place to go to ask the questions. And then also, um, I don't add new people to the chat. I know some of you have been adding people to the chat and then you see them leave like a day or two later. It's because that chat is overwhelming and most people are not ready for that level of commitment, especially if they were a kidnapper. So just be wary. Uh, like there are some of you that are watching right now. They're like, you have a chat because you're not in it because I don't <laughs> add people to the chat until they are showing effort and they are working their business. And when they start asking the right questions, you know, like about their purple card and they get their first sale and then they sign a presenter when they start having action, that's when I offer them to be in the chat. I let them know that the chat's busy. I let them know how to mute the notifications so that their phone isn't blowing up. And then I add them in the chat. It's very important to respect people's space and their healthy boundaries. You dump them into the deep end when you put them into a chat. And that's why I don't advocate for adding your new people to the chat right away yeah. on day one. We have the new presenters chat, but I don't put, I don't put them in any other chats and they don't graduate to the pink chat until they've at least hit yellow status and are showing, have one person signed up under them. If they don't have anybody signed up under them, they don't even get to go to pink chat. So. Um, and then I just have one more question because it happened yesterday. Um, a woman contacted me originally about the presenter kit. But as we were chatting, it became very clear to me that what she was really looking for was not in the bun in the, in the box. You know, she had some very specific shades of eyeshadow she was looking for, some very specific cream, and um, and so I basically said, I think what you're looking for is more of a custom like solution or custom 
box or whatever. So her and I sat together for what I consider to be way too long and, um, and worked out what exactly what she wanted. And I guess my question to you is, um, people like custom solutions, kind of like cream, how we let them pick the, um, the theology trio. we let them pick the, um, uh, boosters and stuff like that. Do you ever offer that to like, just they're kind of on the fence or they're like, I don't, I don't really know what I want. I kind of want some lipstick, but I kind of want this. Do you ever say, well, why don't we have, we'll have a chat, work together. I'll find out about your needs and then I, I can help you create a custom model. Or do you feel like that's like getting out of, you know, too much, too much time and effort. I mean, it ended up being a, a larger sale than the kit would have been. I think it was around 130 or $120 dollars or something 135 so um but it did take a lot of time so i just wanted to get your thoughts on that some people just take a lot of time and some people are really indecisive and when you have someone who's indecisive who is buying makeup that they can't feel touch or see yeah it's worse you will spend two hours with those people on the phone yeah, and you, I think you I will literally want to lose your shit i've yeah, been there on, that was like <laughs> but at the same time i would not push the kit on that person because if they are very set on something that they want, you know, they want what they want, take the sale. It's not selfish to take the sale. Yeah. You know, yes, you know, it would be a better deal to get the kit, but what does it matter if you've got a kit full of makeup that you're not going to sell and you don't want to wear anything exactly. that's in the kit? Exactly. Like you want her to be a happy customer. That should be your first priority. Once you create a happy customer, she may swing back around and then be a happy teammate. Yeah. You know? So I always be in the customer mentality first, but if they seem to be someone who um, is more flexible with makeup, always, you know, always offer the kit, but the kit is honest, in my opinion, not always the first option, you yeah. know, it should yeah. be the first thing you offer, but it's not always the best option. Yeah. She originally thought she would want the kit to try. She wants to try different things, but she didn't want to pay a lot of money to do it. But as we were talking, I realized half the things she wanted wasn't, they weren't in the kit. Right. <laughs> so that's kind of how we got into the, why, why don't we put together a package that works for you? Um, so thank you very much. That was helpful. Yes, absolutely. Who else has some questions? Yes, Susan. I'm going to unmute you, babe. Hold on. There you go. Did it go? Okay. Good, happy Sunday to everybody. So my question is, because I'm trying to build my team, I'm very new, um, but I noticed that the two girls that I did sign, they are more, they're numbers girls. So when I threw out at them, hey, if you wanna get yellow, let's sell 16 4D mascaras. And 16 was a big number for them, but then when I put out the, okay, so let's try five $100 sales that was more like, oh, five, I can do that. So is there a certain thing that you push for your new girls to try to hit yellow? Do you, do you try the mascara? What is the, what helps you guys the most get those girls to where they need to be? I think you're right in, I mean, it's going to vary by individual. You're already figuring that out at an early stage. People are driven by different things. Some people may be more driven by money. Some people may be driven by numbers. Some may people are driven by recognition. So you've got to kind of hone in on what drives that person. But for me personally, what I always strive as a goal, it doesn't matter how motivated you are because I don't learn how motivated you are until we see how fast you get to yellow status. That's going to tell me how motivated you are and how fast you start picking up and working with the kit. If I have people who come in and are already posting selfies before their kit gets here, I'm like, this girl wants to do something because she's, right. she's already a problem solver because she doesn't even have any makeup, but she already knows how to work the business. So that, you know, you're going to learn a lot in just a couple of days. I think one of the other things that you can do is have things that are one task oriented at a time. And if they finish that task, you give them another task, but you're right. You don't want to set the goals too high to begin with, because remember they're a beginner like yourself right. and you can get overwhelmed with big numbers. So, you know, if they need to sell 15, give them five. Okay, you've hit your five. You've got three more days to hit the next five. Like, stepwise. You know, you've got long-term okay. goals and short-term goals, but sometimes they don't need to know the long-term goals. They just need a time limit. Okay. But what I okay. always do is I try to get my girls to yellow in the first 10 days. 
right. party number one, yellow status, and done. And then you can start working towards pink, hopefully within the same month. Right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anybody else have any questions? This has been really good information. Everyone's muted, so you either have to wave at me or unmute yourself to talk. Hold on, April's April's next. Okay. Hello. So, Leslie, I would love your input on a couple of things. Um, one, we are, my team and I are 40% to green right now. And I have been trying for green since convention last year. This is, this is not negotiable. Um, and, uh, I actually signed up 14 people last month myself. So I totally feel that overwhelming, oh. how to get people started properly, guide people the right way. Um, but I also have been working on a lot of my leadership and personal development all at the same time. And I just read both of Fraser Brooks books, um, I Dare You and I Double Dare You, which were very helpful. And I feel like I'm already on the right track, but he basically broke it down that you you need to start everybody the same and give everyone the same expectation. And then you base who you can count on and who you can work with on what they show back to you. So my dilemma where I'm at right now is that I went from a team of two people working to now I have probably 40 people under me overnight. Um, but out of those 40, I literally only have about four or five that I can count on. So um, in the heat of everything that's been going on in my life yesterday, um, I actually just put a, I threw it out to the team in my own personal team chat and said, you know, guys, we are like 40% to green as a team. I couldn't do this without you you know, like I'm so proud of how far everybody has come and how, how, how well we're doing right now. I said, and I am going to be straight up. Like the only way I see this feasibly happening is I need 12 of you to commit to $500 in sales in the next 15 days. Like this is what we have to do. We have to do it together. We can't, I can't do this alone. None of us can do this alone. I want to help you get to yellow. I want to help you guys get to pink. And um, I basically said, who's ready to step in your potential and who's ready to do this with me? And I had four people comment they, were, they wanted to, to do this. And that's like leaving me in this dilemma, like I'll take any advice you can give, bundles to break up, what is your best selling bundles that can be broke up and in, made into a kudos this month, how to motivate some more of these girls to want to try to hit yellow and get that 500 in sales. I mean, I've, I've given simplest of tasks um, and some have done and some have not. And I know I need to like separate myself. I can't make somebody want this as bad as I want it for them. Um, so I'm just really open to anything that you can give me right now to help me and my girls get to green. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm give you a, talking about it. I'm like, I'm gonna give you a couple so options. Fun. I'm gonna give you a couple options here because uh, you threw out some numbers and I wrote a few things down. So you told me that you're 40% to green and you signed up 14 people last year. Last month. Last month. Sorry. If you get 14 people to yellow, that's 7K, girl. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we know that. But you're telling me that. I have five, to six to yellow so far. Okay. So you say you've got four to five working. So let's flip that pancake. Even if you've got four to five working, if you push five of you, including yourself, to 2K, you're pink, okay? Are your four to five 2K people? One is indefinitely. Okay. She's going to hit pink this weekend, I'm pretty sure. Okay. That would be Susan. That would be Susan. So real talk with Leslie. Fast start and everything within 10 days of joining. She hit yellow. She hit fast start. She signed up two people. She goes live every day. I, she's, she's killing it. And so statistically speaking, based on the numbers that you put out, 
you put out 14 people and you have one that wants to run. That's statistically significant. That's about one in 10. Okay. Yep. So real technically you should have maybe one and a half close here that are, that are wanting to try to pick up and run. So here's the thing. You've either got to get 14 to yellow. You've got to get four to five to pink, including yourself, or there's option number three. Actually, there's four options. Option number three is April's got to have a kick-ass month and sell 4K herself because most people that get to green get to green with probably five to seven to ten people, and the leader of that team that's pushing for green pulls the weight. The month that I went green, I sold $6,400. So you've got to get super creative and become a super seller, or plan four is typically the way corporate has been running. We have a month where we sponsor. We have a month where we train and then we have a month when we sell and then we wash, rinse, repeat. Okay. Yep. You just had a sponsoring month. Okay. So yep. by statistically speaking, you should not hit green this month because your job is to train. Now I'm not telling yeah. you, you can't, this is completely up to you and whatever your team is going to do with you. But I'm telling you statistically looking at this, like I'm not looking to re-hit purple this month because I added 118 people to my team. My job yeah. is to get as many women to yellow as I possibly can and keep them consistent and connected so that next month I'm going to train them how to sell like beasts. Okay. This is what we're going to do. So you can either get 7K to yellow, five of you to pink. You can sell 4K yourself and pour other people to pink, or you can pump the brakes on this and you can say, I'm going to dig into these girls and I'm going to train. And then when June hits and we release a new product, we're going to roll for green. So you're going to have to decide statistically from the numbers what of that looks best for you. Um, you know, and we're at the 15th of the month. You're 40% there. You're really not that far behind. And as a rule, towards the end of the month, things get batshit crazy, okay? Yeah, like, yeah. last three days of the month, people lose their fucking minds. Excuse my F-bomb, but, like, why people don't work all month long like they do the last three days of the month beats the shit out of me. Like I can't deal with y'all. Okay. Getting real talk with Leslie here. So y'all need to go hard. Like you mean to eat. Okay. All month long. You need to, to work like you need to eat. So instead of doing that the last three days of the month and stressing yourself and your team out, go hard all month long. Yeah. Um, you know, you can do it, April. It's totally possible. You've got a couple options there. You yeah. know, probably in the next 10 days or so, you're going to need to make a decision about really if it's something that you can do. So that, that would be the game plan. You're going to have to figure out what you fit into. And how, what, how much in sales do you have? Uh, my best sales month ever. I had 2,600 myself. Um, okay, but how much do you have right now? I'm not worried six, about your best month. Uh, 1600 Okay, so that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. Do you think you can pull another sixteen by the end of the month? If I have to, I will. So here's an idea for <laughs> it's you. Not, it's not a matter of can I. It's, yeah. If that's what you're telling me I need to do, I'll do it. You I, need to. You need to. You need to pull 4K this month. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to get with your girls and you're going to set up a flash sale on one night of the week. Here's what the flash sale is going to be. Any two to three of each item that we have gets a 15% off. So if you can do two spray foundations, a spray foundation and a kabuki bundle, you can sell those off at 15% off and you can offer them in limited amounts to your VIP groups. Okay. Two to three of anything gets you an $80 sale with an extra 15% off. If you can consistently get your whole team doing that, you will go. Simplify, okay. crunch it down and make it simple. Okay. I would also say, you know, pick a date and everyone do it together. Like today's the 17th, it's Sunday. So spend the week planning for it, showing them how to do it. And then everybody on the 23rd, like Saturday, Everybody across the board that's participating is going to do this. And then and offer some good incentive. Heck, if you're getting a green bonus, offer, offer 50 or 70 bucks or whatever you can out of your check as an incentive. You transfer it right to their account. Yeah. 
Also, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're deciding to run for a promotion on the first day of the month, you're already behind. There is so much work that goes into preparing for a push like that. $10,000 is a lot. And when yes. you're pushing that way, even if it's pink or if it's blue, the first day of the month, you're already behind. You had to plant seeds that month before. I know there are girls that can go pink their very first month, but that's because they had a really good warm market and you cannot rely on that. I did not have a good warm market. I didn't have friends and family that had money that would be willing to buy from me. I, I had to work from behind the entire time. So what I learned, especially leading up to running for purple, is that I had to stack things and get everybody together so that on day one, we're ready to harvest. That's how it, ha and when that's how we popped off for elites in one month is because we stack, 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 stack. Everybody's gonna run starting March one, we're gonna run. But I started planning that in December. Yeah. We started talking about it in December. So January, February, we were all rallying. We all knew it was gonna happen because everybody was in alignment. At the three months up to that point we You're right worked on it I did the same thing like I started talking to my girls about lash affiliate parties when I was in beta testing subscription they already knew it was coming and I was already training them on how to run an affiliate link we started doing classes online we quit doing the party format um, we've not been doing that since probably December. So all of that groundwork that I laid down in December and January and February set me up for April when I ultimately hit, you know, purple status. And I've been an orange status presenter for over three years. So I did not promote for three years. So it was, it, it takes a lot of work and organization, but you have to have people that are willing to rally behind you and push all at once. It's got to be a group effort for sure. Yeah. And some of, some of their problems, and then we'll, we'll see who else has a question. Some of the problem might be that they don't have the belief that they can get $500. Right. So they're not raising their hand because they don't know how, they don't see themselves being able to do it. So I'm not going to put my hand up if I don't think I can deliver. So if you give them a strategy, they might do it unexpectedly you know this is the strategy everybody's gonna have a flash sale on saturday and then it's like oh surprise i sold five hundred dollars because they don't they don't know what they don't know yet and until you show them a plan they might not ever volunteer because they don't see themselves doing it and you can even offer like an incentive for the flash sale that you know anybody who sells $200 on their flash sale, you'll give some type of unique swag. Go get in the swag store and see what's left in there. Some of the visors and stuff are really cute for summer. Throw a pair of flip flops with it, get a purple towel, throw it in as a little beach, you know, bundle that you can give away as incentive for the flash sale. Everybody that sells at least $200 in the flash sale gets entered in for the drawing. And then if that works and you see people working and they're motivated by incentive, do it again. <laughs> Wash, rinse, repeat. And not everybody is motivated by incentives. Some people are motivated by shout outs. Some people are motivated by leaderboards. You know, they want to, they want to see that their name is on the list. I know, I know uh, a couple people on this team, if they're not, if their name isn't in the top 10, you better believe that they're going, they're going work to work because their name has to be on the leaderboard. I got to be on the boards. Yeah. I'm saying. So anybody else have any questions? Yes, Laura. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say that I think what, something that really struck a chord with me is um, about how you were talking about you need to learn what motivates your growth. And I think Marie, uh, I always told, would tell my bosses what motivates me is positive reinforcement. Now, you don't have to lie to me and tell me I'm doing a good job if I'm not. But um, and also candid feedback. You know, if I'm not doing a good job, tell me. But I think Marie sort of intuitively knew that I was a positive reinforcement person and she's done a great job of celebrating my very small wins, which motivated me to, to then continue to, to fit larger goals. But uh, I was just going to ask you about the whole, um, beta, like the beta subscription thing. I, is, is that obviously um, a program where you have your mascara sent to you automatically or perhaps several products sent to you each month so you don't run out? 
So the beta subscription program used to be a mascara program. It was the prestige program, but it's now switched over to the subscription bundle. So we have a flawless four bundle and there's also a skincare bundle. You can subscribe to that. Um, you can have it shipped to you every one, two or three months. I've learned that I'm usually very conservative with my products and how I use them, but typically I'll need new products every three months. So, um, especially the skincare, it works out great. It's a bona fide sale, you know, that's going to be pushed right through. And for your new girls, um, we talked about this a little bit, Laura. Your new girls, remember, they're getting the foundation brush right now and the eye makeup remover just for subscribing. So, getting your kidnappers is going to get them an extra product in their hand. But then every three months, that sale is going to be tagged on to your bottom line for those team sales. So getting those beta subscriptions to stack up, you know, when they go out, I mean, you're, you're, you're ranking up, you know what I mean? Like you're promoting from those beta subscriptions alone. So you're not having to go chase those sales constantly. You have a, a customer who loves the product and wants to get it on a regular basis. So uh, is it a hard sale? And like, how, is there any um, I, ways to identify somebody who might be the right um target or audience for that? Like, you know, the woman who never leaves the house with make, without makeup or like, I guess, um, I, I guess I, in my mind, it feels like a tough sale, but it might not be. And I wanted to hear your thoughts. If you have someone who reaches out to you, like the lady yesterday, and she says, I love your makeup. I have got to have that spray foundation and I'm going to need a concealer too. Your mind should automatically say beta subscription because even with the kudos, she's spending 80 bucks on that product. Um, and then she's going to get the discount at 69, which for another 30 bucks, she's going to get two more products. Okay. okay. That's how your brain should constantly think. It's especially her because she wanted a good deal. She wanted all the things at a good deal, but she wasn't a candidate for the kid. Mm -hmm. So your mind should automatically say beta subscription. And the other thing is, is that they can get a full skincare line and a flawless face for 200 bucks. That's a qualified link. Hello, now they're getting a free mascara and a pair of earrings. Hmm. So okay. your, your brain constantly needs to be turning and thinking, how can I maximize this sale? How can I maximize the sale? How can I get the most out of it? Get her the most bang for her buck. And then you yeah. tell her, oh, well, you're getting like $350 worth of products for 200. Right. And then you're not trying to order at the last minute and, and it's out. <laughs> the product's out. That's Although right. I, guess it, I guess it could be out, but uh, that's another story. Uh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of working towards that right now. I'm focusing on the, I'm pretty new. So I'm kind of trying to focus on the basics, but um I'll start trying to weave that in, you know. Um, Ask everybody. What if they say no? Who cares? Yeah. Let them order their quad palette, pay yeah. $52 for it, and roll on. Next. Yep. yep. That's it. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Tashina, you have a question? I saw you ra wait, ra raising your hand. Yeah. Um, so I heard something about the flash sales, and I had planned on doing one since the kudos is what it is this month. It figured it'd be a lot easier to do. I've picked about 15 products. Mm -hmm. I've never done a flash sale before, so I just kind of wanted some insight on some tips on how to do one of those that would be successful. Leslie's the flash sale queen, so you uh, you asked the right person. Uh, and I'm looking for this post that's in my team page because I just told the girls the other day, but especially with it being complicated with trying to come up with, um, you know, ideas for posting and different bundles. Um, these are some ideas that I gave them. So I'm going to read this post off to you. I said, this is tip time. Remember you can set up flash sales this weekend. All you need is two to three products. Here are some examples. Two spray foundations get you 15% off. So if you sell two, you can offer each foundation for $35 plus tax. Okay. Three 4D mascaras, $25 each plus tax. Four crushed liquid lipsticks, nineteen dollars. Well, crushed lipsticks, nineteen dollars each plus tax. Three primers are twenty nine dollars each plus tax. Two quad palettes where they get to choose the shades, forty four fifty each plus tax. You can do four epic mascaras at twenty fifty each. And I said, go nuts. This is how you advertise it. You go to your VIP and you say, ladies, I've got some deep discounts on products this Sunday at eight p.m. Sign on to my VIP page to grab those discounts. 
there'll be limited numbers of each item. Tell me what you're hoping to see at the flash sale. So you're gonna ask them what they're hoping to see and guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna bundle them in twos and threes at 15% off and you're gonna sell them off, okay? So um, I put example post. I have four Epic mascaras available. They're 20, 50 each plus tax. First four to comment gets them, go. And that would be my post. And it's just that easy. And as you just get your notebook out and you're gonna sit and write it down as you sell those off, try to think of products, one that are in stock and two that are in demand right now. So I think the quad palettes, mascaras are a great idea. The, the spray foundations are still in demand. You can sell off three of the liquid, the BB or the, um, the uh, stick foundations as well with an extra 15% off. But this is a great month to have a flash sale. Um, because it can be really simple and then you just order those products in bundles and then every time you hit a $200 sale you can also say I've got this many qualified parties every lady that orders within the party I'm gonna put in a drawing I'm giving away a pair of earrings and an epic mascara to however many you got qualified you can give those away you can assign them to them so it ups the ante or let's say you have four qualified links you can take those epics and sell them all for added cash and then give the earrings away as team incentives. So we can get more than one qualified link and get the earrings and Well, you're going to have to, I would put them under a family member's name. Okay. Put them under your mom, your son, like set everybody up an account that you can. And then you qualify those links under the name so they'll come back to you. Otherwise, you can just assign them to the lady who wins the drawing. Okay. Yeah, I like to give my links away. Uh, as soon as they hit $200, I'm giving them away. And, and it, it does a lot for building more trust and reoccurring purchases because the second they hit $20, I, or, I qualify them. And you know there's not much on the site that's for $20. So they almost always spend more than that when they go to, re, when they go to claim their Y cash. So it ends up being more beneficial to you because now you're encouraging them to go shop. It's like when you get Kohl's cash, you get $20 in Kohl's cash. You know you're not only spending $20 when you go in Kohl's. Mm -hmm. And when you go online, you know you're not only going to spend $20. So it, it's kind of like feeding the system and makes them feel good and gets you some more orders down the road. It's, it's really a great idea. Something else that I'm doing, Marie, I don't know if you're doing this, you probably are, but um, like I had three qualified rewards links the other day and they were to be determined, so they needed to be claimed by somebody. So I go up to the top and I type in open link. That's what I'll put, open link, and it's to be determined. Once I get that link qualified, what I do is I get in my VIP group and I told them the other day, I've got three qualified links. The next three ladies that order a kudos, get to claim the link. So what I do is I create that fourth open link and I send them that link. So when all those three orders go in on that link, then that one's qualified. Then I use that one to get another kudos order and to keep upselling to get people to come and make the purchases. So that's a way to get almost two more qualified links with the three you've got. So use those qualified links as a way to get a kudos sale and then give that link away to that person and let them claim it and get their 20, their mascara, and their earrings. And tell them that. I'm going to give this yeah. link to you and you're going to get a free mascara, a pair of earrings, and $20 in, in shopping on my site for something else that you want. At least $60 value, at least. It's a $60 value for sure. And, and all you're asking them to do is purchase... $80 worth of makeup, which won't even be $80 because it starts out as 80 and it comes down to 69. So they're basically getting almost double in value. Can't beat that. I mean, people that don't want to host this month, they're crazy. Explain the value. Uh, people that aren't hosting is because you haven't shown them the value yet. Why do they need to do this? And create a sense of urgency because this is only good for May. I can't give this to you in June. Do not sleep on this deal, right? So yeah. Tashina, if you want, we can chat a little bit more about your flash sale before you have it. I will, I, I've got some good tips and tricks too okay. um, that would be beneficial for you. So, um, and, and also you can always ask in the team page too, because there's a lot of fire sellers on our team that uh -huh. uh, like, will run circles around me as well. I so. noticed that my customers right now, they, they it's when I've done my um, mystery bags or just certain like, where they feel like they're really getting a deal. I've done the 15% off. I tried to word it several different ways for the kudos. And I've had some people 
purchase, but most of them are just kind of like, it, it, it's like it scares them away because there's, you know, I'm like everything on the site, pretty much just pick a few items in there, you get 15% off and it shies them away. So I thought if I put it in where they just want one item or maybe they'll buy more than one item if, it, if they feel like they're getting a sale, then it's easier than saying pick your items for the bundle and then there you go. Yeah, just clunk, clunk all your customers together. So say Susie wants a foundation and Sally wants a mascara and Jordan wants the lipstick, make your bundle, have it shipped to yourself and then send it out to them. Yeah. And then they still get the deal and then you still get the sale. Beauty bags are a good idea with this one too, Marie. Uh, doing beauty bags in your VIP. I mean, I, I haven't done mine in a while. My customers love them. I had a good response with them the last couple times I did them. Yeah, they're great. The, my customers absolutely. I usually sell mine for like between 35 and 40 bucks, but there's always two products in there. I usually throw in a blender bud or a cute pair of cheap earrings and then some samples and a nice note. And my customers love them. And of course they get the bag too. So, I mean, you can't beat that. If somebody was offering that to me, I'd be like, hell yes, I want that. I mean, Ipsy, you pay $10 for Ipsy. I've gotten Ipsy before. I'm not a fan. I'd much rather have a unique beauty bag. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, I think we have five minutes left. I don't want to keep you guys on any longer than an hour. I know you guys, I, some of you want to get to work. Um, but if one more question, who, who, who wants to take it? And if there are no questions then we could just sign off. Anybody? All right, you guys, I am super grateful that you carved this time out. I know that you're going to hit the ground running as soon as we get off this call. I just want to say again, thank you to Leslie for um, pouring into my team. This was very valuable information. Um, and I know that you are a rock star and I'm super grateful to have you in my life. You are. Same girl. Same. Happy to help you guys out. Let me know how you're doing. If you have any questions, message me. I don't mind answering questions. I don't care where they come from. I'm not one of those snobby people that's like, oh, somebody else on my team is messaging me. I'm not that person. Message me. If you need something, I'm here. All right, you guys. Have a good Sunday, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.